If you want to reach the masses quickly, there is no more powerful way than radio. And there's no station that reaches them quite like KIEV, your talk station. Call 818-956-5552 and ask how you, too, can tell KIEV listeners about your business. 818-956-5552. The Cutting Edge on the KIEV Weekend Magazine is sponsored by the Academy Entertainment Group. This is Captain Chaos. You are tuned into um, sickness here. No, we're actually really, really quite swain. Is swain? Uh, we're, sane? Yeah, we're sane, and you're tuned into the Cutting Edge Subterranean Music Show. Happy 1999. Okay, I'm a little sick, um, but I really have a lot of love for Corinne, um, for Debster, for Poetry, for Mystica, for... Um, Frederick. V- Victrola. Yes. Rodney. And the Persian Princess. And for everybody here on the Cutting Edge Subterranean Music Show. And Daniel's coming in. I like your shirt. And uh, how did the parade go this week? Uh, the parade was great. Was it good? Okay. Um, Debster forgot to bring me some um, Cheryl um, chiclet things, you know, whatever. And I'm totally lost. So let's say it. I have chiclets. Here. You have chiclets? Not the band, but I have the gum. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's Ronald's fight. fight, 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 fight. Let's hit it with some music. Thank you.
weren't you mine? Oh, yeah.
y sufrimiento. Nuestro propio animal Canta a la gente para atrás Y jefe What are you doing here? Captain Chaos, and I didn't mean to confuse all you folks in the beginning of the show, but um, my little boat went this way, that way, and Mystica was smiling at me, and I was so ecstatic to be here. I had KIV, the Cutting Edge Subterranean Music Show, with Poetry, Debster, as she's like going downstream, and uh, Ronald Frederick Vaughn, who's part dog, part human, and part everything. And we're happy to have Ronald here. And you are tuned into what? To AM870 KIEV, The Cutting Edge. Okay. Thank you for listening. Oh, thank you very much for coming down here, Poetry and Mystica Ola Ketel. Um, that was Tammy Wynette with a friend of ours, Brian Wilson. Okay. And we're going to learn how to... In my room. Oh, that was my favorite song by the Beach Boys. It might be Rodney's favorite song, too. Oh, well. Wow. Uh, who's Rodney? <laughs> Bing and Hammer. Oh, he never supports us. Oh, yes, he does. Okay. Doesn't he have, like, a little show called Rodney on the Rock? <laughs> Very big show. Oh, oh, oh okay, Fred. How, how about just, like, major? Major. Is it major poetry? Uh, um, yeah. I mean, people... I run into people all the time, and they're constantly tuning in. People that just moved into, Cal, you know, California, they're new in town. 
they oh yeah I listen to Rodney on the Rock so it's definitely being talked about that's but for Ronald sure. never listens to Rodney on the Rocks but we love him very much and uh, maybe we'll give him a radio so Ronald will tune in <laughs> okay. and then before that we had I think uh, P is a got the five. five is it P is a got the yeah, five something like or that or P is a got the four five four five is that Japanese and their biggest celebration... The magic Carpet Ride, not to be confused with Stefan Wolf's. Yes. No, but the biggest celebration for the Japanese is New Year. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Wait a uh, second. Right before uh, Tammy, we had... What did we have? The Pixies. Oh, 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 thanks Mystica. to Mary. Thanks to my friend Mary. Uh, okay. The Pixies. Okay, but Mystica's going to identify what it was in uh, um, Hungarian. Okay. All right? Mystica. Hit it. Yeah. What, what okay. were you talking about? Poetry? Well, Language? You know, it was, um, I heard something about a dog. Was his name Frederick? I, I don't know. I no, it was Bear Bear. I think something about being patriotic and a dog. I really couldn't. Uh, Isla di Encanto, wouldn't that be Enchanted Isle? What? Isla di Encanto, wouldn't that be Chanted, Enchanted Isle? Did he say that? Uh, or the Pixies guy saying. I don't know. Isle or Island? Enchan Enchanted uh, Island? Yeah, they, you know, they probably did say something about an island. I think I did hear him say something. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. All right, so right Mystica. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, hey, I Mystica, before we uh, identify the other songs, can you identify our station and oh, do it in Spanish with our sure. phone numbers and then poetry? I'll do it in English and then I'll do it in, like, um... Chaos language. Chaos language. <laughs> okay. Backwards and forwards. <laughs> and every Which way would... The right way. No, I'm playing. Go ahead, Mystica. All right. Estás escuchando K I E V 870 AM. El número de teléfono es 877-870-5438. All right. So, Bird Apple, where are you? Okay. And, and poetry language 1 877 Again, that's toll free 1 870 K I E V. Okay, Ronald. Before that, um, oh, we are touring songs that we've heard from you know Japanese to mm -hmm. Espanol to this and that. What was else there? Well, we heard draw? Tori Tyson, a very popular local artist, plays a coconut teaser a lot, represented by Mr. Ray Costa nowadays. Uh, it was a Prince cover. The song was called "When You Were Mine." And then before that. Um Kahimi Carey, the Japanese gal that sings in French, which is another form of Rodney Pick, Lolita Pop Dollhouse. D. Uh, we have a friend of ours that slid down um, through the little bank here, and her name is Peggy Juno. Say hi. Hello. Hey, Debster, come on slide in and say hi. Hi. Hi there. Happy 1999, and I'm really glad to be here tonight, and um, I'm just practicing my new voice. Right. Because <laughs> he has a cold. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm... You've had one. one. What's wrong with you, Captain? Well, Aren't you taking enough vitamin C? Actually, I uh, haven't had enough tender love and care. Echinacea? Do you? <laughs> okay. You are tuned into the Cutting Edge Subterranean Music Show. And I want to thank L.A. Cellular. I want to thank Unique Consultants of um, the world of Century City. And, again, I want to thank my friend... Rodney Bingenheimer, and I, I'm sorry I haven't called you. I just, I'm trying to say my voice. And Corinne, hope you're surfing really well. And um, my phone ain't ringing tonight, so call us at... At 1-877-870-5438. And then also I wanted to mention for all of you unsigned bands who uh, want to get some support with us, the Cutting Edge Subterranean Music Show, all you have to do is send your demo to P.O. Box. 29023 Glendale, California 91209 and I'll repeat that address again later in the show and if um, you're a female band a male band or this that or whatever Ronald Vaughn is a specialist and doing critiques on bands and he supports unsigned bands and what have you oh that's true and if you want to call him uh, his home number is 310-556 Two four zero oh, four three one zero oh, five five six two, <laughs> two four zero four, oh, oh, four. and we love all you folks out there that have been supporting the, us here at the Canadian Star Trek Music Show. I'm sorry, I've had too much echinacea, and we're gonna hit it with some more uh, music. And we do have a caller coming in, and um, much love. And let's hit it there, <laughs> little princess there, Mystica. <laughs>
something a little bit different. We're going to cut the audience in half right here. And everybody from here over, that's Dean's side. Whatever he says, you say it louder than he says it. And this is my side. And whatever, and whatever I say, you say it louder than they say what Dean says over and over again. Okay. All right, ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three.
not the way that I feel. I'm not gonna be any fool's Christmas tree. Let them hang gifts on me that I dream. I'm not gonna take second best. I've got no use for the rest. Chaos is 1999 here at Kadeen Age Subject. K-I-E-V, A-M-870. <laughs> the Kadeen Age Subject Music Show. I'm Captain Chaos. I happen to be with Peggy June. I have Debster uh, Krasna over there. Uh, she's like floating um, up and down and all the way around. And Ronald Vaughn. Yep. Uh, who was that? We were. It was the one and only Nancy Sinatra doing a rarely heard song called A Hundred Years. You probably only hear it in concert. You know? Yeah, but poetry dug it out of my, like, my bag. Remember the time we interviewed yeah. Brian Wilson? We didn't have any of his music? Yeah, you, know, you got to be prepared. Gotcha. And I gotcha. Gotcha. But not this time. <laughs> okay. All Speaking right. of Brian Wilson, we did hear uh, South America from him. And then we heard Jan and Dean. Uh, so something's a little special or something. Thanks to poetry cut. and uh, little Something Mary a little different. And then we heard a spaceman called Isidore Ivy, even an HL twist. Wonder who that is. Oh, Isidore Ivy. <laughs> we <laughs> love Isidore <laughs> Ivy as uh, our friend Little Mystica is there. And poetry hit with the line there. Hello, you're live on the cutting edge. Hello. 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 Just push that button. Hello. Hello. I'm Mystica. How, how do we uh, get these phones to work, yeah? Hello. Oh, no. Hi. Um, Hi, this is uh, Chaos, and you're tuned into the cutting edge. <laughs> Let's see. Hello. 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 Hi. How you guys doing? Good. Who, who might this be? This is Hal Lifton. I'm Nancy Sinatra's manager. How you doing, Hal? Wow. Bravo. Right. Woo. You guys missed a great performance last night. Nancy was at the Viper Room, and it was really awesome. Well, actually, I heard, like, um, major things about that thing. Yeah, Rodney Bingenheimer was there, and uh, a lot of Nancy's fans, and Billy Hinchy from Dino, Desi, and Billy. Wow. Wow. Uh, so it was really something. It was a great way to start the new year. Um, sir, if I may ask you a question. How long have you been in the management business? Um, and I'm just, I'm, I'm a beginner myself, and I just like to ask you that question. Uh, about five years. Wow. We feel, I mean, this is so beautiful for you to call us on 1999. I mean, this is like, I mean, this is incredulous. Well, I figured the song 100 Years would have some significance at the beginning of the new century. Not only that, Hal, this is Ronald Juan, at the beginning of the new millennium, too. Exactly. Well, the other reason I called is Nancy has a big show coming up, so for those people that weren't able to be there last night, uh, on January 16th at the Whiskey, they're having the 35th anniversary of the Whiskey A Go Go, and there's some incredible concerts lined up the 16th through the 23rd, but on the 16th, Nancy's performing with the Grassroots and Oh no. Really? Uh, and 
Ray Manzarek and uh, wow. Robbie Krieger of The Doors, I believe, are also on that same night. Wow. And they're, I, Rodney has been uh, talking to me about the fact they're going to recreate the real 60s <laughs> look of the Whiskey at Go-Go. They're going to build Go-Go cages and have dancers, and it, it really should be a special event. And uh, Nancy just got involved in it recently, so it should be a real nice opportunity for her to recreate some of the 60s magic. Do you know if uh, Nancy Sinatra has ever tuned into our show? Uh, I can't say for sure, but I will make uh, certain that she does in the future. Because Brian yeah. Wilson's tuned into our show, and he gave us an interview, and um, poetry um, has always been at admirer of Nancy Sinatra as well as Ronald Vaughn and Peggy and all well, of them. I'm sure you've heard that she um, performed with the Wondermints recently and Brian was oh, there yeah, also Land. and he performed with them. It was really something. Would you ever like to come down and hang out with us and do an interview with us? Sure. That would be great. That's great. Nancy's got a new album uh, coming out in about a month or two. Uh, I think the beginning of March. And it has a lot of rare stuff on it that's never been released before. Uh, is this an addition to the album Sheet Music? No, that album is out already. Okay. That was a Love Songs collection. Because Rodney played album. a rare new cut, you know. Yeah, the new track he played is from this upcoming album oh, called How Does It Feel? Okay. Um, and it's got 14 tracks, and eight of them have never been released before. So, so how... They're, they're really, you know, rare. And when are we going to get our hands on this? Because we want to play it. Uh, as soon as I get a promo copy, you'll have it. Okay, make it's sure really you get... It's a great album. It's got some, you know, really interesting material that's different than Nancy's, uh, you know, traditional 60s sound, but still very much uh, in keeping with her style. Okay, just but please make sure that you give a copy to Rodney first or else he'll get mad at us. No, <laughs> no, 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 he never gets mad. He just, um, he definitely... He would GTO snub us or something. Is, uh, no, 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 no. Rodney's the well, best. Well, it's coming out fairly soon, but they, it, 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 um, the promos will probably be out next month in February. And I think she's going to do a couple songs from that album at her next show, uh, you know, on the 16th. Uh, Sounds sir. like a winner, Hal. Gosh, this is so, so, so big. How would you say big in Espanol, Mystica? We have Mystica who... Grande. Uh, grande? <laughs> uh, Mystica has a question for you, uh, sir. Um, she's our uh, Espanol... Um, Engineer. Uh, gringa Expert. and whatever, and she surfs too, and she also skateboards, and she drives a nice car. All right. Go ahead, Mystica. Um, she's uh, asking me for the question. Um, did Nancy Sinatra ever do anything down there and where? In yeah. Anywhere in uh, South America or anything in another language other than English? Didn't no, I, unfortunately, and you know, this is something I think maybe Nancy's trying to make up for now. She never really toured that extensively throughout the world, uh, you know, in the 60s or 70s. Most of her shows were in Vegas uh, and in the United States. But because of her resurgence, which started a few years ago, she's been... Um, seriously considering going to Europe, certainly to London and Japan and places where she has a real strong uh, fan base. But to my knowledge, she's never performed in uh, Mexico or Latin America at all. Okay, uh, uh, that's cool. Uh, thank you, Mr. Khan. I didn't mean to put her on the spot. I'm not feeling very well. She brought me my best uh, NyQuil. And uh, as you hear out there in folks and listening land and whatever, I'm totally just... Uh, Deb Krasnow would like to ask you a question. Her father is one of the founding fathers of the Hall of Fame of Rock and Roll. And come on, Deb, ask him a question, okay? Because I'm born on the same day as Frank Sinatra. I'm a little bit younger, but I'm an isle of him. But go ahead, Deb, ask him a question. Hi there, how are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Happy I'm New okay. Year. <laughs> uh, ask him a you question. Have a question about Nancy. Yeah. Go ahead. What what what's your favorite type of music? What is her favorite type of music? Uh, I would say what rock and roll, probably. I, she you know she grew up uh, as a teen in the '50s with Elvis and all the great '50s um, rock groups, and you know had her own career, uh, which began in the early or mid '60s. And I think she's very fond of that music as well. Most of her show, her current show, is made up of 60s music. So I would say rock and roll is pretty important to her. All right, Peggy June has a question for you, sir. Um, go ahead, hit it there, Peggy. Um, hi, um, I'm just curious. And does she still wear boots? Oh, yeah. She had on boots last night and a black 
I think it was leather mini skirt. It may have been uh, something resembling leather, but uh, she still wears boots all the time. Gosh, is there a way? I mean, what's your favorite candy? I mean, we really want her to come and hang out with us and like uh, do some Sur City together, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, what would it take to get her to come down here? I mean, um, you know, it'd be really like fun. Yeah, that We're would be basic, fun. you know. She's going to be doing some promotion uh, in March when her album comes out. Unfortunately, because the media is so tough on her and her family, she's very um, reluctant to do press when she doesn't absolutely have to. Because, um, as you've probably seen or heard with many of the interviews, uh, the the questions and the you know the the direction of the. Uh, discussion oftentimes strays from Nancy's music and Nancy's career, which is really what she's interested in talking about more than her personal life or her father. Uh, well, we wouldn't go into kids. that, you know? I mean, it'd just be just to have fun with the kids and the DJs for a day. Yeah. We support education and kids, you know? And we're about, you know, just a basic little show here that I developed. Sure. I used to represent Gary Crosby. And, wow. And he died in the hospital where I was born, St. Joe's in Burbank. Right. And I was telling people about the big band, the swing stuff, like three and a half, four years ago. And people said they laughed at me. And I was trying to get his music on the radio. Mm -hmm. And it's just a basic little show that we developed and poetry support. Well, I listen and to you guys and, uh, regularly and... Um, I'm a fan, and I know that uh, yeah. any exposure you can um, give Nancy's music, she will greatly appreciate. Unfortunately, this is a problem that all artists face from the 60s or 70s. The current radio stations today are very biased uh, regarding the airplay of new music by classic artists, and that's really unfortunate. But because of that situation, artists like Nancy really rely on shows like yours to present their music to the public. So you, you know, you provide a great service in that way. Well, it's people like yourself that help support us and, um, and unsigned bands and various others that allow us to play their music and Ronald Vaughn write nice things and, um, and... Yeah, he's uh, always been very supportive of Nancy and uh, her shows. And Ronald Vaughn! Thank you very much. As well as Rodney Bingenheimer, you know. I mean, that's really, really cool. And it's just like, like I said, it's just a basic little thing we're trying to, you know, promote. And, and we're not about a bunch of big egos, are we? No, we're not about big egos. We're just about support. And, you know, that is why people feel comfortable being on our show. Sure. Uh, right, like Brian Wilson, you know, he doesn't grant many interviews. No, not at all. That was a felt... real honor that he did that for you guys. I, I Thank you, Rodney. I remember Rodney telling me about it. I couldn't believe it. Right. I guess uh, Rodney was with him when he called your show. Oh, yes. Right. I think he got off stage with Nancy, didn't he? Uh, Ron, uh, yeah, Ron, that's another that thing that yeah. happened Space recently. Land. Nancy had a show at uh, BB King's. BB King Club, and Brian came to the show and got up on stage and performed uh, in my room with Nancy, and she was really moved and um, really gratified. We're going to have to go to a, another shot of Nancy Sinatra, and we're going to get to the calendar of um, Ronald Frederick Vaughn in a second. And we're going to go to, uh, can you like pull something out of there? Uh, what would be a good track off that, Ronald uh, Vaughn? Uh, the Secret Agents. Uh, uh, well, yeah, let's go into, can you pull that out, Mystica? Which I think is, that's track is four. Yeah, yeah track that's four. a great track. In fact, okay. yeah. yeah. And then, and then, I mean, this is like ah. Oh. Nancy performed that song last night and uh, dedicated it to Rod. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Rodney, you're the man. Yeah. Oh, the bomb. Well, I hope Thank you, you Hal. Will, I hope you guys will come to her show on the 16th. Uh, if we're invited, we'll definitely be there. Yeah, yeah, January 16th at the Whiskey. Yeah, that's a Saturday night. What time does it go off, yeah? I think 8 o'clock. And uh, also, interestingly enough, at uh, the same show, Nancy's drummer and one of the most... Uh, Superior studio drummers of the '60s or any decade will be there. Performing you referring to Nancy. Hal Blaine, Mr. Hal Blaine. Oh yeah. no, you ran into him with Phil Spector, didn't you? Huge blue Ludwig drum set, and we'll <laughs> be performing the song "Drummer Man," which is very cool. Hey Hal, any chance of seeing Carol Kay on bass? Um, I wouldn't say that there's a great chance, but there's always a, you know, a chance that that could happen. But I, I think Carol's mostly playing jazz. Uh, with her live performing. Okay. Now. But um, I I'm not sure about that. But I know Hal Blaine will be there. In fact, he's receiving a Lifetime Achievement Award uh, that night that Nancy will present to him. Wow. Sir. And he used to play with Johnny Rivers at the Whiskey. 
uh, and actually recorded an album of his own didn't called Drums the Go-Go. Didn't be a phone to write a few hits for Johnny Rivers or one yeah, like Secret, uh, Secret Agent, Agent Man? Man? Yeah. Yeah. P.F. Yeah, Sloan wrote Secret Agent Man. And we love Steve Gleiser and all them, too. Gosh. Yeah. Well, sure. it's great music, and, you know, thanks to shows like yours, it uh, it gets some airplay in the news, you know, year and in the late 90s. Thank you. We're going to get right. into some Nancy Sinatra, and thank you, Mr. Manager, and his name That's is... That's Hal Listen. Hal Listen. Okay, Nancy's Sinatra's manager. Year. Thank you, Hal. Okay, yeah. hit it there, Mystica. Here at KIV 870 AM.
your eyelids are so heavy. Lose your eyes. If you're driving, don't listen to that. <laughs> oh, no, why? Why? Should well, they listen to that? He's a hypnotist guy. We were going to cut the... Yeah, there's a Sukia, uh, 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 co-ed band with a little dream machine there. And I think you were going to maybe hit it with a little calendar. And no, didn't we have the little Nancy Oh, yeah, Sinatra of course. That? Okay. The secret agent. You've got to back it down. like Rodney Biggin yeah, says. Two I, songs. When's he on, by the way? Uh, at the very beginning of Monday morning, 12 midnight to about 3 a.m. I heard rumors they might be playing John Giovanni's CD, <laughs> who is a big Sinatra fan, who is sounds like Frank, uh, that is part of us doing a little thing over there in the Vatican for year 2000, a live broadcast with Josh and Daniel and maybe Mystica and all the folks over there, and we support all. Where would the unsigned bands send their CDs there in poetry? Uh, they'd send them to, that's a good question, Captain, P.O. Box 29023, and that's Glendale, California, 91209. Again, P.O. Box 29023. Okay, and for all you callers out there, I'm sorry we didn't get to them. And thank you very much, Corinne, Victrola, Cheryl, uh, Persian Princess, and everybody. Joe and Mary, Joe and, and Mary, Rose and Jim. Thank you. And mom for helping you with those CDs. Oh yeah, my mom. Okay. Oh, thank you, mom, for the Jan and Dean CD. Okay, okay. Let's, get, let's get to Mr. Ronald Frederick Vaughn, the <laughs> calendar king. Go ahead, hit it. All right, some this is Ronald Vaughn. Some of this will be in Rock City News. Bar Deluxe uh, Saturday night from New York, all female band be bikini contest. Monday, January 4th, uh, at the Martini Lounge, uh, Liquid Sunshine featuring Pamela. I wonder who it is. Tuesday, a free show at Spaceland uh, with Natalie Woodland. I think they changed her name slightly. Hey, the, can I interrupt you? Is Nancy Sinatra playing at all? Uh, well, January 16th, the big 35th uh, anniversary of the Whiskey Go Go celebration. I understand January. there's going to be some major talent there. Uh, yeah, sure is. Uh, stay tuned for details. Tuesday, uh, the 5th, a Honey Rider. At, I think it's a gig in West L.A. And then Ronnie Max Bar Dance uh, has Christine Clarks and Celia uh, at Tuesday. And then uh, um, Martini Lounge, I think, Wednesday, January 3rd. Sherry Vale, a local favorite. A uh, secret show, a red alert uh -oh. at the Viper uh -oh. Room. Uh -oh. uh, uh, my sources tell me Courtney Love will be there. Oh, uh -oh. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. What's the secret show? Wednesday, uh, w uh, January 6th. You know I love Courtney Love. Uh -huh. Courtney Love, I love her. Uh, Sisters Grim at the Joint Thursday, and at the, the Mint, I think it's got Nancy Wilson of the band Heart, uh, uh, January th uh, 13th, and that's uh, Wednesday. It's two shows, 8 and 10, 30 p.m. First slide, of course, uh, at the Troubadour, January 14th. Okay, and let me ask uh, you a question. Can Mystica go with you to see Nancy Sinatra? She's been working so hard. Uh, that would be a good idea. Oh, wow. Okay, and then that's also there's... What? Would you say Mystica? What did you say? Because the poetry was talking to you and trying to, you know. What was that? What were you saying? You would be excited to go to see Nancy Sinatra? Of course she would, Captain. Come on now. And oh, then okay. also open poetry night readings at the Cobalt Cafe, and that is in Canoga Park. Sign up is at 8, and poetry readings start at 9 p.m., and that is on Sherman Way just west of Topanga every Tuesday night at the Cobalt. Oh, lines are lighting up, poetry. I know. Because they feel sorry for my little, like, off here. No, they're just, you know, the cutting edge type callers call them late. You know what I mean? I want to thank, thanks for your support, callers. I want to thank all the listeners for 1998 for all your support. I want to thank Ronald Vaughn, Poetry, Peggy. What about Desiree. 97 and 96? How about 94? Well, <laughs> did you know them then? <laughs> uh, actually, uh, last time I brushed my teeth was in 93. Okay. All right, so, um, all right. Um, we have a call. You want to just go to the sure. other call? Okay, all let's right. go ahead. Hi, you're live on the cutting edge. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Uh, hi, you're live on the cutting edge. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Well, how do you do? Is uh, Mr. Chaos there? Captain Chaos, this is Johnny G. Buongiorno. How you been? Talk to me in Italian. Oh, buonasera. Come as well. Have you talked to Father Angelo lately? Oh, no, no, no. He uh, sent me a beautiful card from the Vatican. Wow. And we shall be expecting him sometime around February. Hey, John, when's your music coming in? You know, you only give us little treats every so often. Oh, well, we'll be getting you a new, uh, uh, one of the new CDs that I just uh, knocked out of my, uh, of some of the things I had in my vault. You know, I'm, I'm re-releasing a lot of things now. You sound like you're Italian. Well, I happen to be uh, an Italian, but I wanted to say it was kind of interesting. Uh, the other night, <clears throat> I'm, I'm on the air, right? Uh, actually, you're floating. 
Oh, okay. Which means? You're on the radio. <laughs> oh, I, I went over to the, to the House of Blues the other night to see Tom Jones. Right. And I bumped into a guy, coincidentally, who repackaged a lot of the Sinatra uh, material from Capitol Records. Wow. And it was a thrill to speak with a guy, who, a young fella at that, who, uh, who found it enough interesting to go ahead and uh, bring uh, the old things that I think were in dual fun. I can bring them up. Uh, okay. To... Hey, John. Um... We got about 10 seconds left, and my right. boss over there, Daniel, is saying we have to just like slide downstream. Four seconds. So we love thanks. you. Yeah. Can we put there you on hold? Right. We love Happy John Dubai. We love everyone. Happy 1999. We didn't and mean to cut it short, and we're going to have chapter two. Namaste. Come say bye. Bono note. Ciao. Salam. The Cutting Edge on the KIEV Weekend Magazine was sponsored by the Academy Entertainment Group.